Good afternoon everyone, my name is Kim Calvevos, a level 3 student from Arellano University. Today, I will be discussing the uses of crane, crutches, and walker. So without further ado, let's get started. In assessing the client, we must first check the client's chart. It includes his or her medical diagnosis. Second is that we will check his or her readiness. It includes the uh, vital signs and the uh, physical, mental, and emotional stability. Third is we will check the client's ROM or the muscle strength or any kind of foot deformity. Fourth is we will check for any uh, visual, perceptual, or sensory deficit. Fifth is we will check the environment regarding the client's safety. Sixth is that we will check the client's uh, discomfort. And lastly, seventh is the client's understanding about the techniques of ambulation. For the implementation, first, prepare the client for procedure. Second, make sure that the assistive device is the appropriate height. Third, Make sure assistive device has rubber tips. Fourth, apply safety belt if unsure of client's stability. Client should gain on an uninvolved side 4 to 6 inches or 10 to 15 centimeters to side of foot. Cane should extend from greater trochanter to floor. Allow approximately 15 to 30 degrees elbow flexion. Sixth, assist client in ambulating with cane. 7. Begin by placing cane on the side opposite of the involved leg. 8. Place cane forward 6 to 10 inches or 15 to 25 centimeters, body weight on both legs. 9. Move involved leg forward even with the cane. 10. Advanced uninvolved leg past cane. 11. Move involved leg forward even without uninvolved leg. And then 12. Repeat these steps. For the crutches, crutch measurement include three areas. The client's height, distance between crutch pad and axilla, and angle of elbow flexion. 14. To use crutches, client supports self with hands and arms. 15. Have client stand up from a sitting position. Choose an appropriate crutch gait. We have two-point gait, three-point gait, swing-through gait, and a four-point gait. For climbing stairs with crutches, first is to begin in a tripod position, and then transfer body weight to an affected leg, Move crutches to stair below and instruct client to transfer body weight to crutches and move affected leg forward. Move the unaffected leg to stair below and align with crutches and then repeat the sequence until client reaches the bottom step. In teaching a client to sit in a chair, first you must transfer both crutches to the same hand and transfer weight to crutches and affected leg. Next is to grasp the arm of the chair with free hand and extend the affected leg out while lowering into chair. Lastly, in using a walker, you must assist the client in ambulating. First, have the client stand in center of walker and grasp hand grips on upper bars. Second is to lift the walker, moving it 6 to 8 inches or 15 to 20 centimeters forward, making sure all four feet of walker stay on the floor. Next is to take a step forward with either foot, and then lastly is follow through with the other foot. So that's it for today. I hope you learned something. Bye!